Hello and welcome to another episode of Cancer Education Research Institute, the first and only simplified multi-language global cancer non-profit organization. Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video I'm going to explain how you can be sure that these surgical masks are in high quality and are not fake. These surgical masks supposed to have three layers. I will show you and I will go through all the tests to find out whether or not this surgical mask is fake or this surgical mask is a true high quality surgical mask that will protect you and will protect others from you. And before we get started, I want you to please subscribe to our YouTube channel, like this video, share this video and comment down below so that everybody can see this video and everybody can learn and benefit from this video. So without further ado, let's get started. Let's do the tests. <laughs> to do is to see visually, make a visual test and find out whether or not this surgical mask is actually a three-layer mask. The second test is the non-flammability test. This means that the middle layer should be a melt-blown fabric, but not a non-woven fabric. If it's a non-woven fabric, when you lit it with the flame, it will burn like a paper. If it's a true melt-blown fabric, then once you lit with the fire, then it will melt down. It will not burn like a paper, it will actually melt down. The next test is the water resistant test. So the top layer should be water resistant or water repellent. This means that once you get some splashes of air drops, right, or from hazardous liquids from others when they sneeze at you, for example, or respiratory droplets into your face while you're wearing your mask, that outer layer should protect the droplets coming inside to your mask. So they should be water repellent or water resistant, okay? The next test is the electrostatic absorption test. So when you take the middle layer 
which is a melt-blown fabric and cut it in pieces, in tiny, tiny, tiny pieces. And because of the electrostatic phase, while you cut them, when you put the outer surface of the mask on top of it, it will actually stick to the outer surface. Or it will even stick if your scissor is a stainless steel scissor, then it will also stick onto your scissor while you are cutting it. The next test is the light transmission test. Look, if your mask is an original, a high quality surgical mask, a three layer surgical mask, then it should not be and because of the filter, the melt blown fabric filter in the middle, it should be less porous than a low quality or a fake three layer surgical mask. The one that has a non-woven fabric or even different types of mid-layer pseudo filter are often more porous so that means that light can go through more strongly compared to a high quality one where the light that goes through is actually pretty dim. The next test is the breath test. So if your surgical mask, a three layer surgical mask is a good quality one, this means when you put it on as much as hard you blow air out, you cannot extinguish the fire. So if you have a candle or any fire, you will hold in front of you, be careful when you do that, and try blow as hard as you can air out. If this is a high quality one, you will not be able to extinguish the flame. And the last test is the absorbance test. This means that the inner layer of the surgical mask should be absorbing the moisture from your breath or from your runny nose if you have a runny nose so it should absorb the inner moisture from your face from your nose from your mouth and not bring it outside so that others can be protected from your respiratory droplets that you expose
So those are the seven tests that help you to understand whether or not your three-layer surgical mask is actually a high-quality one, not a fake one. Once you do these tests and you find your high-quality surgical mask, then you can order more of those. So do your tests first, be safe, be healthy, and always use a high-quality surgical mask I always recommend them more than the self-made fabric or any other types of masks that are not actually really protecting you or protecting others from you. And of course, it's always important to wear a mask rather than not wearing a mask. Always, always remember that. But please, please use a surgical mask a high quality surgical mask and please do all these tests and find out which one is actually a good one and high quality one not a fake one and please use those for yourself and for your loved ones and always always once you wear your surgical mask do social distancing minimum six feet but latest research showed coronavirus can also go further than six feet so eight feet is more recommend so try to use at minimum six feet but if you can stay away from people further if you can so please social distancing is very 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 important and wearing a good good quality mask okay so please check also other videos of ours where we explain the difference between surgical masks and n95 masks and also how long is coronavirus stable on surfaces. We explained two research study published in March 2020. I will have another video where I explain if the surgical mask is not fitting well on your sides. If you have a small face like I have, then I will show you a tip where you can make it more tight so that it's a little bit closer to N95, a little bit more protective and have less leakage from the sides okay so thanks so much for watching i will see you in the next video use your mask use it correctly purchase a correct mask and do social distancing and take care use surgical mask cover your mouth cover your nose make it tight as possible right like an n95 and use glasses. If you're wearing glasses, put your glass on. I wear glasses always on top of this, especially if I'm going indoors. If you have sunglasses, put your sunglasses on. If you have a shield, use it also. But definitely, please understand that the coronavirus can go into your body, from your mouth, from your nose, and from your eyes. Okay, don't forget that. If you also fix this mask like this, it's not possible that it moves around. It will stay, it, it stays actually, it's super stable right now, like an N95, it's perfect. It's stable like this and I can perfectly breathe and also it because it doesn't move anywhere, I do not have to touch it and move it around. And don't do that. Don't ever do that. Fix it. It's just so perfect right now. It sits so perfectly that it's just great. Highly recommend, okay? Thanks for watching. This video was made possible by viewers and supporters like you. If you like this video, give us a big like. And you can also support us by watching our other videos right here. By subscribing to our YouTube channel down here and by donating to our nonprofit organization on our website right here. Thanks again for watching. I will see you next episode. Be healthy, be happy, and take care.